Who else is annoyed by nothing coming through the straw? Me too, sis. Me too. This is my background music, so I don't get copyrighted. Oh yeah. Subscribe. Let me pull over so I can do my intro or whatever. Um, I'm on my way to Taco Bell because I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. You guys watch um, that girl's mukbang. Um, have I done a mukbang on my channel? No, me and my sister did like our little ASMR, but you know, I'm so hungry and I should not be driving with this camera, but I'm gonna do it. Thug life. I'm still inside my neighborhood, that's why. Let me stop right here so I can talk to y'all. So I'm on my way to Taco Bell and I just thought I might as well shoot a mukbang for you guys and talk to you guys and you know, cause I haven't done like a really talking video of where I just let y'all know Deja. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'll see you guys at Taco Bell before I get ticket. <laughs> the only time I go and get Taco Bell is when I'm craving a freeze. Like, mm, 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 mm. this is the orange cream pop. Had to get a large bomb. Then I seen Wait, first of all, I had to get my Dorito Tacos. Cool Ranch Dorito Tacos with no cheese is the order, kids. Yummy. But I gotta eat those first because if you know Dorito Tacos, like the bottom gets like soggy and the tacos fall apart. So gotta eat those first. Um, and then I seen on the little picture or whatever on the menu, that they have, I feel like this is making a lot of noise. Stuff is falling everywhere. They brought back the nacho fries. So I got, I got the nacho fries. Can y'all see, let me open it up. Why am I trying to show y'all through the plastic and it's all like hot. Oh, I should've got no tomatoes, but that's what that's looking like. Let me try one of these. Wait a minute, I'm starving. Okay, this is, oh, this is the first meal of the day. And eat some sauce. <laughs> Is this nasty? Probably, but like, oh well, right? That is it, okay? Wow, that is so good. What to talk about? I was gonna ask you guys to, um, well, I was gonna ask on my Instagram to, uh, send me like questions and stuff and we can do like a mini q a while i do this but you know i really didn't get the time to do that so i have to put both sauces hot and mild on my taco don't know why i just feel like it tastes a little better like that wow i'm so hungry i didn't even do my intro what's up guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm Deja. hello there it is there I'll talk more after I get some food in my system because I literally have not eaten. Oh, my taco fell apart. You freaking freakers. Wow. Hold on a minute because it's literally falling apart. No, Sway, Sway, come on, all I do, <laughs> don't do this to me. No, I just wanted you inside my belly. This is messy. Wow. Okay. What to talk about? In fact, my taco just fell apart. Crazy. I guess I could talk about me being a mom. I get that a lot of questions about like being a being a mom and taking care of Layden and how it's changed my life and all this other good stuff, you know, and like I really have not made a video or spoke upon that topic because I hope that taco is still okay but I don't really know why I haven't made a video I tried to make one and I actually recorded like a whole update like a postpartum update or whatever when later was like three months and I never uploaded it I don't know why. This is so good. Mmm. <laughs> I thought that bug was inside my car. 
I started experiencing postpartum like depression and anxiety more so anxiety um I've never experienced anxiety so when it first like when I first got a glimpse of that it kind of scared me some days still now I'll wake up and it's just like best way I can describe it is like a dark cloud just over you like you don't feel like you want to do anything I don't want to get out of bed sometimes but it's like I have to because I have to take care of Layden like I'm his source of food he needs me okay but it's hard to try to push myself to be happy for him when I'm like feeling anxiety and feeling like depression and all that other stuff because I don't want him to see it because I know he can like sense it but I want him to be happy and he is like a happy baby so you know so yeah. that's that I want to know something else that's like real real under this wig you know I cut my hair and these are so good wait a, wait a minute wow mm -mm. Mm. okay what was I talking about so I did cut my hair and you know they have like postpartum alopecia is a thing if you don't know what alopecia is it's like um you it's like hair loss so you lose your hair and that's what's happening to me on this side of my head like my edges okay but I have been um doing rice water and all that magical stuff so it has it is coming back um if you guys want to see me do like a wash routine or like how I wash my natural hair and stuff like that comment below I'll show you all that good stuff because rice water really works really works my hair was falling out it was like a little like circle like you can tell that I was going bald and I was like what is happening like my pregnancy was like okay well actually it was amazing I didn't have any complications other than the fact that I, I was anemic to begin with in my um I got it got worse so I had to get like iron um infusions and stuff um where they did the IV of iron like what like two or three times other than that it was fine up until labor when I had to get an emergency c-section me thinking that it was because I wasn't dilating but turns out it was because Layden's heart rate start dropping and they had to do an emergency c-section because you know my water had broken and they don't like to let the babies without their sack for 24 hours and it was almost to that 24 hour mark of me not progressing and my water had already been broken for 14 hours so yeah they decided to do to do that because he was like going into some stress I thought it was because I just wasn't dilating past two centimeters but it turns out it was because the latent heart rate was dropping a lot of people ask me like how I've lost weight because I have not worked out at all you guys like I need to but Honestly, it's from breastfeeding a class a breastfeeding class me and DJ When I was pregnant and the lady I remember her saying something like breastfeeding burns a lot of calories like I'm not sure the exact amount, but you burn a lot from just Feeding your kid helps you lose weight faster And also um, heal faster which means like after you have a baby you bleed a lot for like some weeks because you know you haven't bled in nine months so you bleed for a long time and breastfeeding helps like reduce the length of that and you know all around is just the best for your kid so that's that let me eat my taco before it gets soggy now I guess I can talk about um what are you guys doing how was your day are you eating anything right now? If you are, comment below. Let me know. Are you just getting out of school? I remember when I was in high school. Well, at school in general. Coming home from school, getting that snack, and just chilling on the couch watching TV was like the best thing in life, okay? As soon as you get home, you cook you a meal. It'd be the best meal you ever had. <laughs> I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That meal be the best meal. 
but it'd be the worst when you like have a meal in your head and you go home and it's not in the refrigerator or somebody has eaten your food oh it used to piss me off you see how my tacos falling apart so sad no Layden is honestly like the chillest baby ever one of dj's friends he came to visit us and he was like does he cry <laughs> i was like what yeah he cries he was like i haven't heard him cry since i've been here i think that has a lot to do with um dj being so because dj is like a very mellow person my whole taco is falling apart i let him try baby food just the applesauce he loves the applesauce because i'm not really going to be giving him like the baby food i'm going to buy like um like a blender like a baby blender and blend like whole fruits and stuff for him i feel like he'll like that more than the baby food but i do give him the applesauce and he really loves it and it's so cute like him eating it <laughs> uh, oh wow sorry this is so freaking good Mm, mm, mm. Don't y'all just wish you were here talking to me in real life? I wish some of you guys were here too. <clears throat> uh uh, bitch, get your dogs! Uh uh! He got about five dogs just in my front yard. If he don't get his dogs. Single moms and single fathers, I applaud you guys because I know it takes a lot of work to raise a child. For me, I'm saying it's been easier than what I thought because you know how you hear like, oh, you're going to lose all your sleep. Like you're never going to sleep again. It's going to be so hard. Like breastfeeding is going to be so hard. Hurt your nipples. All this other stuff. Like, yeah, your boobs leak and stuff because I used to wake up and my whole shirt would just be soaking wet at night time. My boobs, my boobs still leak. Like, and it'll hurt so bad. Like if I haven't pumped or fed him in a couple hours, like one will be bigger than the other. It would be like rocks, like like hard like a rock. It hurts so bad, you guys. And they leak and they just squirt out and it's real life. <laughs> real stuff is happening. I'm saying it's easy because Layden, he didn't scream throughout the night. He literally only wakes up to eat and I'll just roll over and feed him right back to sleep. And he will only wake up probably like once, once or twice um, in the middle of the night. And sometimes I would have to wake him up to eat but other than that like he was fine and since he's been born like he's been on that schedule and um now like he takes naps regularly the only thing that was him like really that made me a little frazzled was because uh, excuse me he um stopped liking to take naps and i was like oh no little boy and if you have a kid you know that if a baby gets overtired they cry, they scream, they get all sweaty and hot. Just because they're sleeping. It's like, you're so sleepy, why don't you go to sleep? And they're just angry at the fact that they're so tired. That used to happen for a little while to my manager. Business ordeals. <laughs> so that used to happen for a while. But now I got him on a strict schedule um, of when he takes his naps. He takes three throughout the day. Not, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but he's five months. He'll be six, six months on the 25th. So yeah, and for breastfeeding, for me, it was pretty easy. Latched on pretty quick in the hospital. Um, never had no problems with that. He's a pretty gritty kid. He did stop liking my boobs for um, about a month or two. When he was like a month, a month old, he stopped taking my boobs. So I had to pump a lot. I had to pump, oh my God, I used to have to wake up. DJ will have to feed him when he woke up around like one or two in the morning and I used to have to pump at like three in the morning then wake up again and pump at like five and then pump at like seven and oh my God. Just so I can like keep up with him so he will never run out of food because he was not taking my boob. And then about a month or two, he stopped taking his bottle. And y'all, I couldn't do anything, like anything at all. I could not leave his side because I had to feed him. He would not take his bottle. And I was like, Layden, please don't do this. <laughs> please don't do this. So I couldn't go anywhere. Like he was 
attached to me for about a month and a half. So now, he takes his bottles, takes my boob. Whenever I want to feed him, I'll feed him. Um, he's starting to know, like, my boobs are his milk. Like, he'll put his face on my chest, or he'll pull at my shirt, try to pull my shirt down. And I'm like, oh my god. So, that's happening. Sometimes now, um, while he's eating his bottle, he he'll... He'll like move away like he doesn't want it and then he'll try to drink my boobs. So it's just a lot. My little baby's growing. I'm finished by the way. Should have got more food. Yeah. Should have got dessert. Most definitely. I really want a root beer float. Why is it it's so cold outside that this is not even melting, okay? It's like 50 degrees. You guys, last night it was 30 degrees outside. I know for some of y'all, you're like, what? That is not cold. Because y'all live in like cold, cold ass places. But out here, that's cold. Okay, for it to be 50 degrees during the day. Freezing. My crazy ass just sitting in the car. My house is so warm. But I'm doing it for you. Okay, I just like the... Like sitting in the car, doing the mukbang. 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 Whatever. However, I just accomplished my first one. And I think I want to do another one. I'll do another one tomorrow. And if I'm like bought tomorrow for some of you guys who are like, oh my god, what's your hair go? This is not my hair. This is a wig. It looks pretty real and natural. I know my cousin did that. Um my hair is growing really fast, you guys. not coming out my hair is going really fast and like I'm amazed my curls are so popping and I'm in love so like I said before DJ has all this trash in my car it's like receipts galore in here so like I said before if you want to see a wash routine I don't care if you don't want to see it or if you want to see it I don't care if you don't want to see it you're gonna see it because I'm gonna film that today also so I'll record that you'll be seeing that shortly or whatever I think that will conclude today's video I don't really have any more food to continue the mukbang so <clears throat> excuse me that's trifling what? Snapchat, that's like my favorite app of all. Okay, add me on Snapchat. It's down below. It's just Deja underscore Lamagie. Um, add me on Instagram for sure because your girl's been going ham with the uploads. I've been trying to stay consistent as F on Instagram. Be looking shit popping or whatever. Looking nice. That will conclude today's video. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you freaks with Taco Bell, leave a bell in the comment section. Let's see who got this far in the video. Leave a bell in the comments and I'll be down there liking it or whatever. Hit the subscribe button. Who else is annoyed by nothing coming through the straw? Me too, sis. Me too. And I'm going to go in the house because my hands are freezing. Hey, guys! Headphone users. Dead. <laughs> Bye.